Good evening. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good night. Good evening. How are you today, people? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Give me a second. What about Carmen, Paola, Gustavo, Carlos? Can you hear me, Azucena? Yes, mister. Okay, good. All right, so welcome to the class. What time is it? Can you see the chat? Can you see the chat? Give me a second. All right, all right. What time is it? It's uh, eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. Thank you for answering. Thank you for answering. Let me ask you, ya que los miro un poco callados. If I want to learn how to swim, where do I need to go? Si quiero aprender a nadar, ¿dónde tengo que ir? Pero hay que llegar primero. My goodness. Where, where do I need to go? ¿Dónde debo ir? Ajá. Uh -huh. To the pool. To the pool. If I want to learn how to drive, where do I need to get in? A school driver. A school driver. Okay. ¿Y dónde me van a enseñar a manejar? On the street. Where? But where? Where exactly? A dry school? Yes, but how are they going to teach me? Getting a car? In a car. If I want to learn how to cook, where do I need to go? Kitchen. At the kitchen. Kitchen, exactly. If you want to learn how to speak better, what do you need to do? Practice. Practice. Exactly. So let me ask you, what do you do when someone is asking you a question? Do you stay quiet or do you answer? It depends on the question if I understand. Okay, but let's say the question is in Spanish. Or I speak. Right. Mire corazón, mire que hace aquí, you answer. So you don't stay quiet. You don't stay quiet. So the reason why I was asking you, it's because I said, what time is it? And only one person answered. I said, can you hear me? And only one person answered. So let me explain. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. How do you say that in Spanish? Practice makes perfect. La práctica hace la perfección. La práctica hace el maestro, la perfección. 
And so remember, if you want to improve the way you speak, you need to talk. Yeah. You need to talk. So anyways. My you name is- to be here to make mistakes. Yeah, you need to make mistakes. Mistakes yeah. are necessary. Just True. like uh, when you're learning how to drive, you will make mistakes. When you're learning how to cook, you will make mistakes. Uh, when you are learning how to swim, you will make mistakes. So in English, mistakes are necessary because mistakes supposedly, uh, they teach you a lesson. So the only people that don't make mistakes are the ones that are usually quiet, but that's not good. Anyways, my name is Francisco Marroquin. I'm 49 years old. I'm married. I have five children. I live in Lourdes. Uh, I'm an English teacher. I work for different institutions. I teach different levels. And uh, I also do administrative work in a call center. I've been working for Inglés Corporativo for a couple of years, teaching different levels and, and, and different ages. In my free time, um, I like to spend time with my family. Sometimes I watch TV, sometimes I listen to music. So I try to do a little bit of everything. Any questions or comments? Questions, questions? No? No, teacher. Okay. Los demás que no han respondido, imagino que tienen preguntas, pero no quieren decir nada. Solo una persona <laughs> dijo, no, teacher. And the others? No question, teacher. Oh, no questions. Thank you, Robert. Uh -huh. Okay. Anyways. I'm okay. Good, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Listen to this. I have an observation. The first day of classes, um, it's very important because this is the day we give instructions, we set the expectations. Let me ask you, what do you need to do to pass to the next level? What do you need to do? Who, me? Everybody in general. Ah. What are the requirements for you to go to the next level? Um, Get the eight, 80 percent? Uh, yeah, yeah, 80 percent. 80 percent of what? Of what? Of in, complete uh, module? Yeah, but how will you complete it? Um, approving all the tasks. And okay, which task? Where are, where are the tasks? In the platform. Yeah. In the platform. Excellent. Very good. So listen to this. It's very necessary. It's mandatory. If you want to complete, uh, if you want to go to the next level, you need to, um, you need to complete 80% of the work in the platform. Now listen to this. Hey, teacher, what's your name? My name is Francisco. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you see the chat? Yes. What did I write? She went, went to the park. park. Excellent. There is a space between went and the preposition to. I did it on purpose. So she went to the park. Grammatically speaking, the sentence is perfect. But when they entered the answers in the platform, they didn't write it like this. Sino que lo dejaron con un espacio normal. So what I'm saying is the following. When you're writing your answers, if you leave too much space, the platform will not recognize it. It will not recognize it. Or another example. She went to the park. OK, 
Okay, you see the other example? It's, it's yeah. the opposite, two different words together. So when you're typing your answer, your answers, please be very careful with spaces, with punctuation. Uh, what is the type of letter that you use at the beginning of each sentence or a question? What type capital of letter. Capital letter, exactly. So if I went, she went to the park. And if I leave it like this, the platform will not accept it. So you have to be very careful with punctuation, spaces, capital letter, lowercase, everything. So the information, the words that I put in that sentence are good. They're perfect, but they have the wrong space between words. Or if I go like, she went to the park. What's the problem with that sentence? With the last one. Uh, third person. What is the problem with the sentence? The point, yeah. the point at the last of the sentence. The period at the end of the sentence. That is correct. She went to the park. Spelling is perfect. The spaces are perfect. Capital S at the beginning. But I did not put the period at the end. So things like this can happen to you. Things like this can happen to you. So keep that in mind. Any questions or comments? No. Okay. So what's my name? Francisco. Francisco Marroquín. Exactly. Where do I live? Lourdes. Uh -huh. mm. How many children do I have? Five. 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 What is my marital status? Mary. 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 How old am I? 49. 49. 49 years old. Exactly. And what is my occupation? What's my profession? Teacher. Teacher. Right. Yeah. Right. The English. Yeah. Only am I only an English teacher? English. You taught us you work on car center. Right. And I do uh, administrative work in a call center too. Any questions before you start introducing yourself? Remember, this is your class, not mine. So you have to do the speaking. What kind of information do you use when you introduce yourself? Um. I don't know. Nothing? My so the other name? person says, nice to meet name. you, Francisco. You stay like this. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. You mentioned your name. What else? Age. 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 What else? My, my profession. profession. Your profession. Occupation could be. Occupation, exactly. What else? My, my hobbies. Your hobbies. hobbies. Mm -hmm. What else? If I marry? Your marital status. Marital status. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Anything else? If I have children or no. Right, if you have children or not. Very good. Where I live, for some, for two. Where you live, exactly. Yes. All right, so volunteer. Quickly. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't fight, don't fight. Only one, only one. <laughs> uh -huh. lady, lady first. Lady oh, first. ladies first. Okay, Krisha. Thank you, Krisha. <laughs> Krisha was going like this. <laughs> Krisha. <laughs> Hello. <Krisha Jeroma>. Uh, <laughs> yes, Krisha. My, my name is Krisha Sochil Melara. I live in Santa Tecla. I study dentistry. 
I am 24 years old. Um, in my free time, I like to spend time with my family and I like watch series. Uh -huh. um, I am single. Good. That's all. all right, good, thank you. Uh, does anybody know the meaning of Sochil? What's the meaning of Sochil? Sochi. What is the meaning of Sochi? Krisha, do you know flower. the meaning of Sochi? Exactly. It's flower in Nahuatl. Nahuatl, huh? Uh, yes. Hmm. Sochi means flower in Nahuatl. Very good. Thank you, Sochi. Next one. Ya ves, ya perdieron algo más. Sochi. All right. Mm -hmm. So you can perfectly tell your girlfriend, your wife, hello, social. Yes, I prefer social, but okay. maybe Chrisia is more easy. Okay, maybe Chrisia is easier. Okay, social is a beautiful name. Anyways, thank you. Next one. Abby Portillo. I'm <laughs> sorry <laughs> for... My English is very bad. <laughs> huh? My English is very bad. Don't bad, worry. Bad, bad. Nobody okay. has bad English. We're, we're, we're here for the same reason. Everybody's on the same boat. Here there is just okay. one teacher. My name is Adelaide Portia, but you can call me Abby. I am an industrial designer, and I love the art, the video game. Um, the animal. Um, good, so very good. <laughs> Your English is not bad. Very good, Abby. <laughs> Excellent. All right, Azucena. Azucena is raising her hand. Go ahead, Azucena. And now the gel, man. <laughs> Azucena Razo. Hello, hello. Okay, Carlos Mesquita, you're next. <laughs> okay, my name is Carlos Mesquita. Um, I work in the treasure from El Salvador. My in the treasure? Process, what is yeah, treasure? Yeah, Ministerio de Hacienda. Oh, okay. In, in English, you call it IRS. The rest. IRS. IRS. RS. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Mm, oh yes, I, I see. Uh huh. Um, my profession is auditor. Auditor. Uh huh. Mm, uh huh. I'm a single man. In me, in my free time. I like to see the TV. You like to watch TV? Uh, sports. Watch TV. Like, Not I'll see watch TV. TV. Watch TV. Okay. Uh -huh. I like watch sports, uh, football in the TV. Okay. Good. Thank you. All right. Okay. Anybody else? Volunteer? Me. Okay. Isidro. All right. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. My name evening. is Isidro Herrera. I'm from Dominican Republic. Okay. Um, my hobby is reading. Um, I'm, I'm married, and I have a little baby daughter. Okay. I'm here to develop my knowledge and to improve my fluency in English. And okay. I hope that all together we can get to improve our English. Right. And to, learn, and to learn a lot. Okay. So you're from the Dominican Republic? Yes. How much time have you been in El Salvador? Almost three years. Okay. Are you planning to go back to the to your home country? Could be. Probably. I don't sure from now. All right. Good. Good. Thank you. And welcome to El Salvador. Thank you so much. I imagine that your wife is from here. Yes, you're, you're right. Good. good, very good, nice. Okay, anybody else? Another volunteer? Another volunteer? 
Hello, hello guys. Hey, Carlos. Uh, uh, good night. Uh, good evening. Classmen, uh, classmen oh. and teachers. Uh, I know that good evening is uh, after that the night. It's the it's opposite. Right? It's the opposite. The opposite. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Good evening. My name is Carlos Calderon. I live in Apopa. I am 40 years old. I am married. I have a daughter. I work administrative of finance. I am a tax inspector. Okay, good. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you, Carlos. Someone Thank else? You, meet you, too. you see, in, in this class, you need to be aggressive. Now, aggressive, I'm not talking about violence, but aggressive like speaking all the time, participating, making questions. And that's why I was giving you the, the, um, the examples. You want to learn how to swim? You have to go to the swimming pool. You want to learn how to cook? You need to go to the kitchen. You want to learn how to drive? You need to get in the car. If you want to learn how to speak better, you have to speak. Anyways, volunteer, someone else? Good evening. Hello, Iris. My name is Iris Herrera. Uh -huh. um, I am... 37 years old. I live in Metapan. Okay. I am a uh, business administration. I am married. I have two children. Good. Very good. Thank you, Iris. Another volunteer. Your teacher. Yes, Gustavo. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Um, I'm Gustavo Cruz. I work at IRS too. Okay. I'm a, a developer. I'm from San Miguel. I'm 29 years old. I'm single. And that's all. Okay. Are you in San Miguel or in San Salvador right now? Right now I'm in San Miguel, but I'm between to a week in San Salvador and another week in San Miguel. Oh, okay, good. So you like Aguila? I'm <laughs> 20 and 200% Aguila. <laughs> All right, good. Thank you, Isabel. All right, another volunteer? No. Someone brave? Yes, Robert. Okay, uh, good evening, class. Uh, mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Roberto Quijano. I am 44 years old. I am a lawyer. Um, I, I live in Metapan City, uh, Department de Santa, de Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. um, I'm married. Um, I have a beautiful son. Good. Uh, no more. <laughs> okay, thank you, Robert. Okay, good, okay. Good. All right, someone else? Hi. Yes, Rocio. Hi, everybody. Hello. My name, is, my name is Rocio Calderon by Carlos Calderon. It's not my coaching. Co okay. <laughs> uh, I work in the Ministry of Finance. I live in San Salvador. Uh, I married and I don't have a children and I need to practice my English and I hope uh, you need me to improve it. Good, very good. Thank you, thank you. And you know, everybody needs to improve different areas. So let's say, uh, I won't see any names. Guillermo maybe needs to improve his grammar. Beatrice maybe needs to improve her pronunciation. Um, Heriberto maybe needs to improve his fluency. So everybody has different areas of where to improve. So it doesn't matter which area is yours. Come to class every day. It's only one hour. It's only one hour. And I guarantee you that in every class, you will practice, your fluency will get better, and uh, at least you will learn one word a day. One word. Oh, I didn't know that word, you know, like Ministerio de Hacienda. 
if you speak with a gringo and they ask you, so where do you work? You say, I work for IRS. They immediately understand that IRS is Ministerio de Hacienda. Very good. Thank you, Rocio. Another volunteer? Volunteer? No one else. Hello. Yes, Carmen? Good evening. Good evening. My name is Carmen Maria Martinez. Mm -hmm. I live in Mexicanos. I'm 45 years old. I'm married. I have three children. Three children? Yes. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What part of Mexicanos are you in? Final 75 Avenida. Oh, Calle el Volcán. Sí. All right, good, good. Thank you. Next one. Yes, Carlos. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, my name is Carlos Dominguez. Um, I'm degree in public accounting. I work in office um, um, office um, auditing. Uh, I live in Asado, Mexicano. Um, I'm married. I, I'm married. Um, to some twins, um, I like um, uh, white TV, um, football, soccer, soccer. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's All right, it. good. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome to the class. Uh, was it only me or did Carlos sound choppy? Oh, me too. Okay. So maybe you have connection problems, Carlos, because you sound choppy. You know, now with technology, you need to learn vocabulary related to it. So when you want to say, se le oye cortado, you say, you sound choppy. Choppy? How do you say cebolla in English? Onion? Yeah, onion. 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 Okay. You have onion and you have a tomato and you want to prepare a cocktail. What do you do with the onion? You chop it. Chop it. Chop means hacer pedacitos algo. So you use the same term when someone when you're having problems to understand someone. Hey, you sound choppy. Can you go to a different room of your house or can we speak later? Choppy. And that is a word that everybody should know. Anyways, thank you, Carlos. Um, anybody else? Anybody else? Me. Yes, you, Jennifer. We want to see My you, name. Jennifer. <laughs> My name is Jennifer Mena. I am 22 years old, and I live in San Salvador. I am studying the last year of high school. And in my free time, I, I like to watch series or movies. Good. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Anybody else? Something else? Someone else? Mr. Chair. Yes, please. Hello. Uh, good evening. My name is Brian Deras. Uh, I, I am 21 years old. I live in San Salvador and my hobbies are watching movies and playing soccer. And sometimes I like to read. Yeah. And only that, I think. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Anybody else? Anybody else? Me? Yes, Marcella. Um, hello, everyone. Yes. Uh, good evening. My good name evening. is Marcella Hernandez. I live in Cincinnati. Uh, currently, I study web imaging manual and free time I uh, read a lot of crypto, uh, crypto work and I invest in that. Okay. And that uh, work. 
And that's it. Good, thank you, Marcela. All right. Marcela used the word currently. What's the meaning of currently? Is, is the same word as yeah. In Spanish, it's actualmente. Exactly. Now, how do you say actualmente? Uh, I mean, uh, Okay, what's the function of what, what's the function of the word actually? Because actually doesn't mean actualmente. Uh, what's the meaning of actually? It's in realidad. In realidad, exactly. So if I say um, Gustavo, your middle name is Jose, and he says no, Francisco. Actually, my middle name is Ricardo. So actually, you use it to make corrections or to clarify. Very good. Thank you, Marcela. Anybody else? Alguien más? Good teacher. Yes, JC or Miguel. Miguel. Hello, my name is Miguel. I live in Ciudad Marriott. I work at Millicon Company. I am a payment analyst. I am single. Anymore. All right. No children? No children. Okay, good. Thank you, Miguel. <laughs> children are very expensive. <laughs> All right. Anybody I, I else? Don't know. <laughs> yeah, they're very expensive. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Please. Who said me? Hello. JC, go ahead. Yes. Hello, everybody. My name is, is Juan Carlos. Um, I am 33 years old. I work on the RS2. And I live in San Salvador. Uh, my occupation is a count. Uh, I, I married. I don't have children. Yet. Okay. Yet. Good. Thank you. Thank you, JC. You will one day. <laughs> All right, anybody else? Anybody else? No? Okay, listen to this. How many of you have they had the chance to check the platform? Raise your hand if you check the platform already. Uh -huh. Crisha, Juan Carlos, Azucena, Carlos, Gustavo. Los que no levantan la mano, you haven't done it. No lo han hecho. Okay. All right. So let me see this here. Okay, good. So um, what is the first topic? Past tense. Exactly. Simple past tense. Simple past, Simple past tense. Okay. How do you say tiempo gramatical in English? Grammatical tenses. Tiempo gramaticales. Grammatical tenses. You will hear me say tenses very often, very frequent. There are 12 tenses in English. There are 12. Simple present, simple past, present perfect, past continuous, future, blah, blah, blah. We have 12. The simple past tense is one of the tenses that people use all the time, all the time, all the time. Do you remember the differences between regular and irregular verbs? Volunteer to explain. Regular verbs always finish um, ID. ED. 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 Okay. So the past tense of play is, what's the past tense of play, people? Played. 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 What is the past tense of work, class? Work it. Work. Work. Okay, let me see this here. Work. So, worked. 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 And what is the past tense of need? 
Needed. Needed. Aha, uh -huh. needed. Excellent. Very good. So look here. Like your friend says, regular verbs are the ones that you put ed at the end for conjugation in the past tense. So how do you say jugué cinco horas? I played five hours. I played five hours. I played, I played, played, five, hours. I played, I played five, five hours. Okay. Okay, listen to this. Siempre nos han explicado que el simple past, the regulars, um, they, you put ED at the end. But the regulars, they have three different sounds. So the past tense of play is not played. It's played. 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 The past tense of work, it's not working. It's worked. 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 So played, the, the, that's a sound. Worked, that's a sound. Played. Needed is not a sound. It's an extra syllable. It's an extra syllable. So apparently, I cannot make a, all right, let me see this here. Give me a second. So the reason why I'm explaining this, English is not only about structures, it's also about pronunciation, about when you sound mm -hmm. well. Okay, can you see the document? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, now listen to this, pay attention. How do you say una toma de pantalla in English? Screenshot. 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 Very good. Screenshot. I left my phone there. Screenshot. So, puede agarrar este screenshot. This is for the rest of your lives. Listen carefully. Elizabeth graduated last summer. I wanted to take her picture. So she smiled and I photographed her with some of her friends. So graduated, wanted, smiled, photographed. Three different sounds. So how do you know cuando va a sonar como una T, cuando va a sonar como una D, y cuando va a sonar tal como le escribimos? The explanation is right here. Mm -hmm. Number one, if the termination of the verb is any of this, then the ED will sound like a T. So you will say helped, washed, and cooked. Never again say help it, wash it, or cook it. That's not good. If you say help it, wash it, cook it, people will understand, but that's not natural. If you go to a job interview in a call center, who gets the job? Sykes, TP, tell us who gets the job. Si usted fuese el evaluador, ¿a quién le daría el trabajo en, en cuestión de los términos en inglés? ¿Qué característica? Ajá. The correct pronunciation. Pronunciation. Fluency, vocabulary, the use of grammar. So, if this is the termination, ED will sound like a T. Number two, if this is the termination, ED will sound like this, and you will say played, lived, rained. How do you say llovió mucho ayer? Rain. It rained a lot yesterday. It rained. You don't say it rained. You say it rained a lot yesterday. Yesterday. So any of these terminations plus vowel sounds. What are the vowel sounds? Sonido vocálico. A E I O U. 
A E I O U. Si el verbo termina con cualquiera de esas terminaciones, or a vowel sound, then the ED will sound like this: played, lived, and rained. So that is sound number two. ¿Qué dijimos de este último? Is it a sound? It. Extra syllable. It's an extra syllable. Exactly. So in, in sound number three, but it's not a sound, if the termination is D or T, you pronounce the ED exactly the same way you write it. So waited, wanted, or needed. ¿Qué letras ve ahí en los, en los brackets? Alice. But what letters do you see? ID. ID. Oh, but, but that is only the phonetic symbol. That's only the phonetic symbol. But the real pronunciation is N. N. So, any questions or comments? For examples. What is it? For the simple. More examples? Yes. Okay. So, look, look here. Voiceless okay. means no vibration. Voiced means vibration. So, let's do one exercise. Put your hand on your throat. Put your hand like this. Pónganse la mano acá. Everybody, everybody. And say, wash. 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 No wash. vibration. Shh. Wash, no vibration. Cook. 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 No vibration. We go to the second group. Play. 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 Say play. play. Do you play. feel vibration? There is play. vibration. Play. Live. Play. Rain. Rain. Esos Rain. tres tienen vibración. So, si el sonido termina con vibración, uh, you will pronounce the ED like a D. Any questions or comments? So, other examples. How do you say uh, ver? Ver televisión. Watch TV. Watch. Watch, watch. watch. watch TV. Watch. Uh -huh. watch. Okay. Watch. What? How do you say arreglar in English? Fix. 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 Say fix. 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 No vibration. So how do you say arreglé la computadora? I fixed. I fixed my computer. I fixed my computer. I fixed my computer. Much better. You can say I fixed my computer. People understand, but you don't sound natural. So that's one of the reasons why you are here. Any questions or comments? No? Questions. Okay. No. Okay, so uh, that uh, is- I have, I have a question. Ask me please. In the picture, in the picture, I don't see the X. Right. And the number two and all the letters is not the X. Right. Right. Okay, so that's, that's a good observation. Can someone explain why letter X is not there? So this is what you need to do. You will, how, how many letters are there in the, in the English alphabet? Mm, I don't know. Okay, let me ask you this, an easier question. How many letters are there in the Spanish alphabet? Uh, 28. 28, someone else? I say 26. Okay, 26. How many letters in the Spanish alphabet? 27. 27. So, A, B, C, D. 27, 27. So what's the difference between the Spanish and the English alphabet? Y ya le voy a responder por qué no aparece la X. Um, Mira, yeah. 
Okay, what's the difference between the Spanish and the English alphabet? La ñ. La ñ. Exactly. So, si la ñ no existe en inglés, how many letters do we have? 26. 26. Uh, exactly. So, in English, there are 26 letters. In Spanish, there are 27. So, going back to his question. Mira, ahí no aparece la X. Yeah. Pero aquí le está indicando que todo, todo sonido que no tiene vibración está incluido ahí. Including X. In mm. number two, ahí le dice, verbos que terminan con vibración, ahí están todos ahí. Number three is the exception. Ahí no importa si termina con o sin vibración, si termina en D o en T, you will pronounce the ED exactly the same way um, As we write. you write it. The same way you write it. Needed. And that is the only case where you can say waited, wanted, and needed. Needed. Mm -hmm. Questions or comments? No? You know, I was trying to um, to make uh, to make you work in pairs, but uh, the what's the word? Rooms is 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 not allowed right now. I don't know why. Questions or comments? No. No questions, no comments. Okay, good. Now, let me ask you. How do you make questions in the simple past? What's the auxiliary you use? Was and were. Was and were. Was and were. Was to be on the past. Okay. The auxiliary. Okay, pregúnteme si se ne. That question is in the simple past. ¿Cómo? Pregúnteme si cené o si almorcé, si desayuné. Did you dinner? Did you dinner? No. Did you have dinner? Did you, did you, did have you dinner? eat uh, dinner? <laughs> right? Pregúnteme si nadé. Did you swim? Did you swim? Pregúnteme si cociné. Did you cook? Did you cook? Did you cook? Excellent. Swim, cook, and eat. Are those actions or conditions? Action. 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 So when do we use was and were? We use was and were for conditions. How do you say, um, ella estaba nerviosa? Was. Was nervous. She was, she was nervous. She was nervous. She was nervous. nervous. Action or condition? Nervous. Condition. 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 How do yeah, you say? Condition. How do you say? Nosotros estábamos contentos. We were happy. We were happy. We were, we were happy. happy. We were happy. We were happy. Look here. Observation. Let me write this in the chat. Pregúnteme dónde estaba yo. Where were you? Where were you? <laughs> Where is for Where places? Yeah. Where is for places? Hey, I saw your brother. You said, where? Don't. Yeah. The past tense of are is not where. It's were. So, where. where were you? Where were you? you? Where were you? So, where imagine you? imagine that you come to your house at one in the morning. You open the door and your husband or your wife is there waiting for you. They will ask you, where were you? Where were you? So, you don't say, where were you? You say, where were where, you? Where were you? Where, where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Ya les han preguntado eso? 
No. ¿Ya ha llegado tarde a su casa? Many times. Many times, huh? Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, so you need to differentiate when we use did and when we use was and were. Right? So, did you eat dinner? Da, da, da. How do you say no te vi? I didn't see you. I didn't, I didn't see you. Sí, I didn't see How do you say no lo compré? I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. Now listen to this. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. When, you're making, buy it. when you're making questions or you're saying negative information, the yeah. verb always stays base form. So you will say, did you go to the park? What's the auxiliary that, I, that I'm using? He? Did. Did. What happens to the main yeah. verb? Stay in present. Stays in base form. Base form, yeah. Stays in base form. The other one says, I didn't see you. How do you make negatives in, in the simple past? Si, si lo que le estoy preguntando no lo puede responder cuando salga la respuesta, anótelo. This is for the rest of your lives. Yeah. This is for the rest of your lives. So I didn't see you. See is an action. Auxiliary didn't. The form of the verb is base form. Questions or comments? Not to check. What about the other one? I have a comment. He worried. was worried. Action or condition? Condition. 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 Right. So we were. Uh huh. We were tired. Imagine you go to La Unión every day, every day. When it's Friday, you say, man, we were tired. So was and were is for conditions in the simple Condition. past tense. Questions or comments? No? Okay. No question. All right. A quick okay. review. What is the meaning of choppy? What's choppy? Yo sé que todos lo anotaron. Chompy. Cortado. Cortado. Se escucha cortado. cortado. Exactly. Okay, so choppy means cortado when the quality of the sound is not clear. So mm. it can be a, an internet connection, it can be on the cell phone. Es normal que la, la, la calidad falle y say, you sound choppy, I'll call you when I get home. Choppy. What's the meaning of currently? Actually. Actually? Actually? Are you sure? Actualmente. No. No. Uh -huh. Nowadays. 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 Excellent. Nowadays. Yes. Currently makes reference to right now. Now. What's the meaning of actually? In realidad. In realidad. In realidad. So, Francisco, usted vive en Santa Tecla. Pues dice que en realidad yo vivo en Lourdes. Actually, I live in Lourdes. How do you say aclarar in English? It's right. Aclarar. I don't know. Clarify. Clarify. So right you use, please. it's right there in the chat. Clarify. Ah, Clarify. Okay. So yeah. actually, listen to this. No significa actualmente. You use it to make corrections or to clarify. You use it to make corrections or clarify. Oh, Anything else? Mm -hmm. Any questions about what we have seen today? No? 
yo sé que los que no, no se presentaron están con aquellos, no van a poder dormir bien si no se presentan. So, <risa> le, le, les aconsejo que ahorita diga, miren, my name is Carlos, I live in Santana, en I'm an engineer, papá, y sale de eso, porque no, no va a poder dormir bien, es decir, todos participaron casi, menos yo. So, y dale right. con Carlos. Ok. All right. So, who's next? A ver, okay. who's next? Ajá. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. Uh, please can review the use of was, where. Sure. And did and didn't. Sure. Right now. See this here. Okay, go to the chat. So, was, how do you pronounce the past tense of R? Where? What is the past where? tense of R? No, it's not where, it's where. were. Were. We were late. We were early. We were first. So, was and word, you use it for conditions. You use did for actions. Now, when you use was and were, um, you use adjectives and nouns. Adjectives and nouns. Mire, todavía le habla fulano. Éramos amigos. How do you say éramos amigos? We were friends. We were, we were friends. Were friends. We were friends. Now, what part of grammar is the word friends? Is it a verb, a noun, an adjective, an adverb? No. no. It's no. a noun. Okay. No. So we were friends, but we had a, a fight. Or you can say we were excited. We were excited. How do you say excited in Spanish? Um. Emocionado. Emocionado. Emocionado, right. Emocionado. So excited is what what part of grammar is excited? Verb, nouns, adjectives, adverbs, conjunctions. Condition. Condition. Okay, but, but the word excited. What part of grammar is excited? Verb, noun, adjective? Adjective. Yeah. Adjective. Oh. Adjective. Yeah, yes, adjective. adjective. Okay. Adjective. All right. Okay, so remember, was in word is to express conditions. You use did when you talk about actions. And when we talk about actions, we're making reference to verbs. Got it? Got so it. I, I had some exercises prepared, but to my surprise, we cannot make rooms um, now. We cannot make rooms now. So uh, I'm, I'm going to fix that for tomorrow so you guys can work in pairs. Uh, how many parts does grammar have? How many parts does grammar have? Verbs, nouns, adjectives, blah, blah, blah. American version has eight parts. Eight parts. The British version has nine parts. So the Americans have eight parts, British have nine. So I will explain what the difference is uh, in the next four weeks. So we have 16 classes to ask anything about English, anything. So like I said, this is your space for you to be talking. Cuando habiliten el hacer eh, los, los salones en, en, en Zoom, usted va a estar haciendo mucha plática uh, in pairs, uh, with triads, in groups, and I will be only supervising. Only supervising. Right? Mm -hmm. Questions or comments? Uh, question, teacher. Yes, Carlos. Um, you, um... Using a was where condition, uh, condition didn't action, uh, only simple pass. Only with the simple pass. That is correct. Okay, okay teacher. Okay, Thanks. who, I don't know, ¿quién se acuerda? ¿Cuántos tiempos gramaticales hay en inglés? 
12. 12 grammatical tenses. And this one, Carlos, is exclusive for the simple past tense. Yes. Okay, teacher, thanks. Sure. Any other questions or comments? No? Okay, so uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. And uh, time is over. Yeah, time is over. So it's only okay. one hour. It's only one hour. So when you come, you need to ask questions. All right? Okay. Teacher, one hour is not enough. What, what is it? Teacher, one hour I is not enough. I can hear you. Isidro? I want to... Uh, I want to do a question. Before. You want to make a question? Sure, make the question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I say it in, in Spanish? Yeah, you can. <laughs> okay. Al inicio, el ejemplo que puso, she went, uh, no me acuerdo qué, pero ¿por qué? Uh, pues, eh, entiendo que el verbo estaba en pasado Ajá. y por eso la pregunta es, por eso no llevaba la S siendo tercera persona. Exacto, porque la S se le aplica solo en presente simple y ahorita estamos sí. en presente, en, en pasado simple. Pasado simple. ¿Ya? Ah, ok. ¿Ya? Ah, y pues, si gustan pues. podemos hacer un repaso del, pas del presente simple para ir así en orden si gustan. Mm -hmm. Sí, okay. por mí está bien. All right, good. So we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Oh. Have a good night. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. See ya. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. See ya. Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, cu uh, currently, I work uh, around three or three hours from my home. Okay. Uh, that's why uh, it's possible. It's impossible for me to come. Uh, On time. Yes. Uh, is, uh, can I change my schedule? For example, speak, night. Speak. Okay. Speak with the administrator of the chat because they do the administrative work. Yes, I, I sent a lot of messages to uh, different people. Okay, uh, so do you have my telephone number? Uh, it's in the chat. So send me a, a DM, send me a direct message. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, good night, people. Good night, teacher. Bye -bye.